What's up guys, we're back here with some more Pioneer content. This is a deck that I have been wanting to play for quite some time, and today is the day. Uh, this is Mono Blue Devotion with a couple of new cards here. Defiler of Dreams is a card, basically the entire Defiler cycle has kind of, you know, piqued my interest. We experimented a little bit with the green one in the Hardened Scales decks, and the red one in the uh, Bergy Ignis, uh, Grinning Ignis combo decks. Now we're playing the blue one in a Mono Blue Devotion deck. We have uh, quite the curve. We have no one drops uh, to speak of note, but this is a very powerful card because it makes all of your blue cards, uh, makes all of your two drops essentially into one drops, um, which with in, in combination with Nykthos, you get some pretty, uh, pretty busted draws. And also, whenever you cast a permanent spell, you get to draw a card with this. So you can kind of just, it, it's almost like a combo deck in the sense where you're trying to just get Defiler into play, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, just, you know, have Nykthos put a bunch of stuff into play. Um, you can, you know, get some tempo with Merfolk Trickster and Harbinger of the Tides. Wizard's, Wizard's Retort is pretty powerful because we have a lot of Wizards. Uh, Academy Loremaster, another new card that is exceptional in combination with Leyland of Anticipation because this allows you to play all of your stuff on your opponent's turn. So you just don't really care about the Loremaster making uh, your stuff cost two on your turn because you're playing on your opponent's turn anyways. So that's really powerful. Four copies of Master of Waves as well. Just a very, very good card. Dodges a lot of the commonly replayed removal spells like Bone Crusher Giant, Dreadbore, all the red removal, that kind of stuff. And yeah, a couple of Glass Pool Mimics to copy the Master of Waves, maybe even copy Defiler of Dreams, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I am super, super excited to play this deck. Uh, fully expect me to go 05, but hey, at least we're going to have fun doing it. We just small hard for Lane Line. No, it's just in our opening hand. It's fine. You need to find a Nykthos, but... EOT, Lore Master. God, turn turn zero lane line, turn two Lore Master is so broken. It's kind of annoying that they get to resolve that card, but... No Nykthos, Sag. Uh If they activate Bard Class, I'll probably just bounce it this turn. Almost certainly, right? Yeah, if they activate Bard Class, I'm just going to bounce it with Borrower. And then I can hold up Trickster plus Counterspell next turn. This is such a beating, too. Because they can't do anything this turn, and then just counter it next turn. It's so, it's such a beating. Yeah, I'm going to hold up all my mana. This is gross. Opponent might be playing my pet deck. Everybody is always playing everybody's pet deck. You know? It's just how it works. That is just how it works. Nykthos, 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 Nykthos! Damn it. I mean, it's fine. We still play Defiler this turn. It's not that bad. Mm -mm -mm. This is kind of a thrashing. Any thought of using Fey, which is almost like the Karnwin kind of getting Omniscient Bouncing Fey? It's funny you mention that, because I had, um... I had Omniscience, in, or I had the, the Fey of Wishes in one of my earlier versions of this deck. I decided to end up cutting it. I don't know if that was correct, but... Nykthos. Nykthos! The other thing, it takes up a lot of your sideboard slots, which is kind of awkward. Let's fucking go! Alright, are they dead? They're at 12. I guess they're not dead. Uh, uh... Okay, let's go... I think just attack for four? Wait, is there a shot I can kill them with, like, Thassa's Oracle? Well, I guess I don't have enough life to do that. I could, like, go through my entire deck, but... Probably don't have enough life to do that. I'm trying to think if there's any reason to do stuff on my turn, because my spells do cost more cost more with the Lore Master. I think what I'm going to do is just attack for four, upkeep, play Trickster, tap the Bergy so it doesn't have any abilities this turn. Mimic on Defiler. Well, I'm going to do this for two life. Draw a card. All right, they're off it. Let's go. They don't want to play anymore. That was fucking easy. All right, so Aethergust is a little bit better in this matchup because they have a lot of expensive, like, Planeswalkers and stuff. Uh, Cyclonic Rift could be good. The nice thing about Rift is, like, it's pretty easy to establish a, a fast Nykthos because they don't have a ton of interaction. 
Zergo's awful. I think it's pretty important to have one drops with with your Mox Ambers. I played this deck yesterday, and I felt that my best draws involved one drop into Mox Amber. So just having more one drops to enable the Mox Amber starts felt really important. Because like Mox Amber felt like the best card in that deck when I played it. Yeah, but I wonder at that point, Luca. I wonder if you just want to play Karn. Like this deck could easily play Karn, right? Instant speed Karn. Let's go. Uh, what do I want to cut against them? Maybe like Trim Defiler. Man, I, it's like cutting cards in this deck is so weird because all my cards are so good. It's only chemical. We'll try this. I don't know if that's right. What we'll about a replace for Karn? Man, I don't know. It's like it's really hard to figure out what to cut in this deck. Sideboarding is so tough because this deck is very like you know well-oiled machine synergy based kind of thing. This hand's busted. B -b 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 busted. Let's keep seven. Always have ley line. No big deal. Zurgo. Zurgo. I need the upkeep stop. I need to find a two drop, though. Double blue two drop. Okay. This is kind of a kind of a rough start for us. They did mulligan, so it's not that bad. That is not a two drop. I think I'm going to hold up Gust in case they go land plus four drop. They have a lot of good four drops. They have, like, Senegoses and stuff. Controversial take, but I don't run Mox Amber. Really? I don't know, man. Mox Amber felt so good when I played this deck yesterday. It was always on, you know? It felt like the best reason to play this deck was just that it was the best Mox Amber deck. And if you can make this card good, it is a very powerful card. Mox builds feel so inconsistent. So I'll show you the list that I played yesterday, which was the list that top aided the PTQ. Can I find it? Uh, we're gonna go. What did I call it? Bard glass. So I had four o three. I had three Zergo, one Ovia to turn on the Mox Amber, and then you know the rest of the deck is like fairly stock, like four 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 four. Like I think I think definitely playing Zenigo. Four Zenigo is correct. All right, one turn too late, unfortunately. Um, I think I should just play Island, because I might want to, yeah, I might want to, uh, I might want to cast this Mimic at some point. What about Paradox? Paradox Engine? Hmm, make a 2-2. Okay. So we'll probably get to eat a 2-2. Can't kill the Xenagos, unfortunately, but... Yeah, you don't really want to play Paradox Engine in this deck, because it also... Paradox Engine doesn't untap your Nykthos. Oh, you're saying in their deck. Nah, it's not... You don't, like, you don't need Paradox Engine to go infinite. Like, you can just go infinite with, uh... Should probably kill their Legend. I guess killing their Legend is worse if they have another copy of Zergo. Yeah, I'll block this. Because their Mox is turned on anyways. Mm-mm-mm. I think I'm drawing a card here, right? I can just flash in Defiler. I probably should chump block the Rada this turn. All right, so I think we go Nykthos Pass. Then I can flash in Defiler and then try to do some stuff that way. I think there's a cool Paradox Engine deck in Pioneer no one has found yet. People have tried to experiment with, like, Kinnon. The decks that were playing, like, Kinnon with um, Moonsnare Prototype, Springleaf Drum... Courier's Briefcase, and then doing, like, Karn Paradox Engine stuff. That deck was pretty good. I was playing Myria, too, the new Red Green Legend. But, yeah, just, like, the issue with those decks is it feels like... It feels like they're missing a piece. It feels... You know what it feels like? The, uh, the Breach decks in Modern, where they're, like, they're good, but they lose to, like, a plethora of interaction. It's, you know... Like, they're... Typically with combo decks, you're trying to attack people from a unique axis and, and trying to blank their cards... But, like, these decks are just kind of, you know, not that great against Bonecrusher Giant on Kinnon. You know, you end up... It, it's hard to, like, to combo when, you're, when your stuff is dying. I guess that's kind of an obvious thing to say, but... Making mana. <clears throat> Four red. What is this? Oh, shit. Okay. Alright. Hmm... Kinnon's bug with Relic of Legends doesn't give you extra mana, which is a staple card in the deck now. Uh, I believe that's how it works. So I think that is not a bug. I think that is how it's intended. 
there was a, a long conversation with Kinnon plus Relic, but I'm pretty sure that's actually how it's intended to work. Ooh, they don't attack, which is pretty good for me. Because I didn't have a good block on the Rada anyways. They don't know that, but... All right, so we draw a card here. Hmm. I guess we're not doing a ton. I can kill Xenagos, which I probably have to do. So like kill Xenagos pass. Two, four, six, eight. So if I kill Xenagos, I can go Lore Master into Mimic on Defiler with five blue floating, and then maybe play another Defiler. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's just go kill Xenagos. This thing doesn't have reach, right? It's like surprise reach. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Do they draw a card off of Lore Master? They don't, okay. Mm -mm -mm. A reading is that the relic should be adding a mana. Yeah, when you tap for mana is yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think I think that's how it's supposed to work. Chariot Galia. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't care too much about the chariot. Yeah, sneaky reach. I gotta change all these gruel cards, man. Some of these gruel cards just like randomly have reach. You know, like Zergo just has reach. I don't know. You gotta always check. I guess this one specifically probably would never have reach, but. This card looks like it could have reach. Kind of fine with them just playing Chariot. I mean, I'm going to draw a lot of cards next turn. <laughs> I'm going to have three Defilers in play. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I think when they go to combat, I'm going to try and do some stuff, because I need to try and find a Tapper. I want to tap this thing. Yeah, so when they go to combat... The question is, do I pay life for the Lore Master? I don't think I can really afford to... So we can just go play Lore Master, draw a card. Okay, not exactly. Now I can go make eight blue, play Defiler for five, draw a card. Okay. Uh, I guess I just make another Defiler, right? Cast Mimic for three, draw two cards. Okay. Uh, why is it giving me priority? Oh, shit, I can pay these for free. I can just pay for life. I don't think I want to, but... Uh, yeah, copy this. So, if they attack with everything, Lore Master can chump Rada, and the other Lore Master trades for target, I take six and go to two. I was doing this pre-attackers because I wanted to try and find a Merfolk Trickster to tap this thing, because I don't want this to be able to attack. So I think I'm just going to let them go to combat. Yeah, I was trying to find a tapper. Did not find a tapper, but... Because, like, no matter what I do, even if I wait, they're just going to attack with everything anyways, right? Make a Lore Master draw three. What's this? Red mana. It's like a Rending Volley or something? Mm, okay. Uh, Chump here. Trade here takes six, go to two. I only have six Devotion left over. It's not a lot. Still have two Defilers, though. I think I have to do it this way. The question is, do I upkeep Thassa's Oracle? I think I do, right? <clears throat> plus one, plus one, that good. We need to do all that. Well, yeah, because it makes my block so much better, right? If I if I can tap this thing pre-combat, my two threes get to eat their two twos. But because they attack with the Targ, they become three twos, which means I can't eat them, right? That's why I wanted to do it that way. Okay, Master is what we're looking for. Holy shit, that's a lot of cards. I guess I'll keep the Gust. Yeah, I'll keep the Gust. So, now I can just Gust this. Gust this, play Master. Okay, let's go... Make a bunch of blue. This is blue permanent spell, right? Alright, let's play Master. Draw two. Make a bunch of tokens. Gus the Horn. Play second Nykthos. Make a bunch of blue. Play Thassa's Oracle. Just want more Harbingers. Oops. Play Harbinger. Bounce one of their idiots. Play Harbinger, bounce one of the idiots. Play another Harbinger, bounce an idiot. Play Gust. <laughs> well, that was a good turn. So, was that a good turn, chat? <laughs>
Oh, God. This hand is the Stone Cold Nuts if I draw an island. I have to keep it, right? Like, I have to risk it for the biscuit. I'm on the draw. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Island! Island! Please! This is this is a hand that's good enough to beat Monogreen. If I draw an island, that is, but... I can't... I just... I can't mulligan this hand, right? There's no way. I just... I, I cannot bring myself to mulligan this hand. Island! Island! Let's go! Alright, now what do I do is the question. Uh, I think I want to upkeep Tap the Mystic, right? Yeah. She said leapy. And then I could just defile her next turn. I will be the same. We are the most embarrassing deadly people. I could have Nykthos, though. Nykthos still kind of fucks me. I actually have more devotion than they do, though. <laughs> Just kind of hilarious. Okay. Now I can hold up... Um, I can hold up my stuff... And if they play something that I need to counterspell, I can retort. And if not, I can just defile her. After, uh, I'll take four. That's fine. Do you have a mass bounce? We have Cyclonic Rift in the sideboard. Not in the main deck, but in the sideboard. Maybe it's maybe it's worth playing that card main deck. But it is obviously nuts in this matchup. Like, I only have two in the sideboard. Maybe you should just board more of these. Because this is probably your best plan against them. And, like, the thing about this matchup is they don't have any interaction. Right? So they're just going to, like... If you draw Nykthos plus Leyline, you're going to be able to Cyclonic Rift them pretty easily. So maybe you just want to play, like, three copies in the sideboard or something. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I don't care too much about that. Because I have two Counterspells. I have six mana. I could just go Lore Master double Counterspell if I need to. I do need to find something after this Defiler, though, if I have to cast the Lore Master. All right, let's uh, make some blue. Counterspell. Do I play the Lore Master is the question. I think I do. I think it's worth it. Because I still have another counter spell for the other Storm of the Festival next turn. And I could just go, like, draw a card with Lore Master, float mana, play Defiler, play Retort, and have mana left over. I think I should play it. Kind of need to find a Master, though. Okay, draw a card. That's pretty fucking good, too. Uh, I think I'm not going to do anything upkeep, though, and just hold up my mana. Yeah, I'm going to hold up my mana. So I have 8 mana now, which means... Huh. Okay, they didn't use the... They didn't use the Lore Master, huh? Interesting. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I feel like they could have been still at Cast the Storm, but... Okay, so let's make a bunch of blue. Uh, do I want to cast Chadwick first? I think so, right? Chadwick for three, and then cast the Counterspell. Because I don't really want to go to four this turn. I want to tap one of the trolls. So let's go J Gadwick for three. Yeah, Gadwick for three. And then counter it. I guess I could have counter- I guess- Oh, no, yeah, because I want to I want to cast the- I want to get the cast trigger off Gadwick. Right. That's the point of doing this. Is there a chance I want to double block a troll here? I could probably go to eight. Because I want to be able to pay some life for the Defilers. Because I can kind of just go through a lot of my deck next turn. But this is probably fine. I could still pay four. I could still pay life four times. Okay, draw a card. Play a land. Hmm. Two, four, six, eight, eleven devotion. So I have twelve mana. So I can go Defiler. I'm wondering if I should be bouncing a troll here. Probably not. It kind of doesn't accomplish that much. So I can just, like, attack with everything and pass, right? Yeah, it's probably fine. <clears throat> Danny, thank you so much for the 10 months, buddy. Appreciate you. Yeah, this deck, this deck is probably Copium, but it's really, really sweet Copium, you know? It's a Father and Glassblow and I need to borrow something. Yeah, like, I, I kind of want to hold up the ability to potentially, like, cycle into a counterspell if they play something I have to counter. You know what I mean? Double block. Huh. Uh, so I would still have access to 10 mana? I think that's just fine. Yeah, I'm okay with this.
I think I'm cool with that. Some fat clouds. I like bouncing a troll now. Maybe. All right, so they're going to force the issue. So I'm going to lead Defiler. Tap a homie. What if I bounce the Haven and tap the other troll? Wait, does this tap any permanent or just creatures? Non-land permanent, okay. Uh, I guess I could... What if I mimic copy the Defiler? Yeah, let's go... Mm, hold on. I'm trying to think... I do kind of want to bounce a troll here. Mimic copy Defiler. Copy Defiler and then bounce the troll. Three... Yeah, I think that's fine. So we go Mimic, Copy, Defiler. Pay two, Copy, Bounce. Well, I can, I can pay Life for the Borrower too, right? I don't have I don't have to pay the Life now. Because I, I can see what I draw first to see if I actually want to pay Life for other stuff, right? All right, well, they just concede anyways, but... Yeah, I could, like, see what I draw here, and then if I draw something that I also want to cast, maybe I then pay Life for the Borrower or something like that. And pay Life for Petty Theft. Oh, you're right, because it's not technically a permanent spell. You're you're casting not the permanent half of, okay, you're right, you're right, I gotcha, I gotcha. All right, so Gust and Rift coming in. What are we cutting this matchup? I have no clue, chat. <laughs> what on earth do we cut? Is this a matchup where we want to cut Master of Waves? There's no way, right? Maybe we can Trem on Master. Yeah, I could see cutting a couple Masters. Holebreaker? Mmm... The problem with Holebreaker is you have to have follow-up. Like, Cyclonic Earth just wins the game on the spot. You don't need follow-up. You just get the seven mana and they die. So. I think Holebreaker requires a little bit more setup than I am than I like. Probably don't need all four Oracles. It's probably my weakest two-drop. I could just cut them all, to be honest with you. Because I am bringing a lot more... I'm bringing a lot more two-mana cards. I could also shave a Defiler. It's, things I like to do in matchups like this where I'm trying to race is, like, trim a Defiler, trim a Gatwick... But at the same time, I'm trying to go over the top of them, so maybe that's worse. We'll try this. See how this goes. Mm, I think this is, like, the, one of the matchups where we definitely have to mulligan into Leyline. Because, like, if we don't have a Leyline in our opening hand, we're not, new, we're not doing nearly enough broken stuff. 61? Wait, I thought... What the hell? Oh, because... No, I boarded in six cards. Oh, I just didn't cut an Oracle. Whoops. Alright, that's my bad. I thought I cut the last oracle. Whoa. I just don't I just don't think this hand ever beats them. Alright, this hand's good. Um, so I'm keeping land, 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 lane line trickster and hope to draw payoff. Okay, like that. We got time for a deck tech? Yeah, we can do it. Drew the second master. I'll probably do it after this match. I don't like doing it in between matches, but if you're cool with that. Okay. I mean, I could turn three Master of Waves. I don't know if that's good, but maybe. Perhaps. <clears throat> Lanawar Elves. Yep, Elf. Yep, Elf. wonder if they cited it anything. Probably not. I don't love casting the Trickster here, because usually like, I'd want to upkeep tap their Elf, but I think I just want to play the Master here and try to try to go beat down. I don't know if beatdown's going to really work if they play like a you know, Cav or a Troll here, but... Can, like sneak in I mean we're sneaking in what 12 power it's pretty good sneak in 12 power Let's see what happens <laughs> it is pretty okay boat yep boat yep boat yep boat yep boat yep boat that is indeed a yep boat all right I play bad decks thank you for the ten dollar dues for the donation deck this is actually pretty good for us, right? Because they're going to try and fire up the boat next turn, and we have the Odawara for it. This is this is going to work out pretty well for us, I think. Alright, I got you. God, and if they don't fire up the boat, we can just, uh... We can just play the... Play the glass pool and the Master. Honestly, if they crew the boat and attack, I might just copy the Master anyways. Right? The draw? Yeah, I could have played the Mimic there, which would have put them to three. Was that good? I could have also attacked... Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to attack with everything. No, because this doesn't pump the other master, right? Yeah. Was I supposed to cast the Mimic? Put them to three? I don't know. 
Yeah, holding up the Odawar is definitely safer, right? Because, like, theoretically, if they... Mm, I guess they can't really have, like, second boat. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of tough. I feel like if I play the Mimic, things could go poorly for me. But if I just take this line, I feel like things really can't go that poorly for me, right? Like, they just crew the boat, now they lose. I see so clearly... Let's go! <laughs> just easily 2 owed Monogreen. Easily 2 owed Monogreen. Who's the better Devotion deck chat? Yeah, Monogreen is clearly inferior than Mono Blue. <laughs> we, have de we have determined. We have determined that Mono Green is worse than Mono Blue. You heard it here first. Alright, drop the link. I play bad decks. Drop the link, buddy. So clear. I haven't lost the game yet. Alright, we got a deck tech redo for Brad. Two years. Thank you for the two years, buddy. Much appreciated. See, the second league is going a lot better because we have Leyland in every opening hand. Oh, Hammer Time. Well, the reason people don't play Hammer Time and Pioneer is no Saga and no Pure Steel Paladin. Those are like the main two reasons. No Stoneforge Mystic either. It's just like, I've tried Hammer. Uh, I actually probably still have the deck. Hold on. I did try this deck like week one or week two of the new set coming out. And I feel like there's maybe something here. Um... But it's like, it's kind of a hybrid between the Hammer package with Cigar to Zade Hammer and then your cup and Aster. Aster is like the new payoff for Hammer. And you're combining that with like the Machiko's uh, artifact based stuff. So there's like kind of a, a cool overlapping synergy there. Oh, this matchup has to be a disaster, right? <laughs> How much did someone have to pay me for me to play Model Blue Devotion? I just wanted to play it, Rachel. I've been wanting to try, I've been itching to play this deck since the new set came out. All of my own volition. Knight that gets lower cost. What's that? Three minute ogre that equips for zero. Uh, maybe. I mean, facing the borrower. No, I'm gonna hold the Oracle because I want to be able to play Master next turn. Mm -mm -mm. What's the three minute creature? I think there is, but I don't know the exact text on it. It's like a three mana three two, right? Fervent Champion. Yeah, but. Furpid Champion Colossus Hammer, still, you still need to pay 5 mana for that stuff. It's, like, not that good, right? Toll Collector. Yeah, 2 and a red, 3, 2, 0 attack to equipment to Toll Collector. So you can only equip to itself, but maybe that's still worth playing as, like, a couple copies. I could see it. I mean, I'm just not going to block, right? Okay. Please don't have Reckless Rage. Please don't have Reckless Rage. Please don't have Reckless Rage. Just let me untap with this Nykthos and play this Master. All right, they don't have Reckless Rage. Probably should keep the second Master, right? I think so. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. <clears throat> kind of rather just play Nahiri over that, even if it costs one more mana. The Planeswalker here, right? The Lithomancer, or whatever it's called. Oh, they had the Rage and didn't cast it? Huh? That's insane. I guess they didn't know that I had uh, Nykthos, but... It's really good for me. So it's number four, right? And I'm gone. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So it is three loyalty, plus two, make a one one. You can attach the equipment you control to it. Minus two, you can put equipment from your hand to give it to the battlefield. Minus ten, who cares? Hmm. Oh, Heir of the Ancients? What's that one do? Really? Heir of the Ancients? So not the Lithomancer. Oh, that's dub dub. Oh, that's the commander card, right? That's the commander card. Okay, so this is plus one, make a one one. Attach an equipment. Minus two, look at the top six. Get warrior equipment from the put in your hand. Uh, even though it says so. Yeah, I guess like because you're trying to do specifically hammer things, the minus three is kind of bad. Like you're probably never gonna have a, a, a second equipment in play. But just like four mana. The only problem with this is like you have to equip the the token specifically so it, it this this will never be able to give it haste right that's kind of my issue with it whereas like i do kind of think that aster is probably just a better version of that right i think this card's just a lot better but i could be wrong question is how much do i block if any what if i just like giga chad no blocks here i have two cards in hand I guess this is, like, kind of a safe block, right? 
It forces action. Let's take five. Let's just do that. I don't want to lose too many tokens. Okay, that's fine. I'm, I'm cool with that. Oh, I guess I took a point of damage for Freya. Uh, I did take a point of damage for no reason. I could have just put this here. Minus one Kek W. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minus one Kek W. Hmm. This is uh, a little awkward. It's 17. I think I'm just... God, it's so awkward that I have to main phase the master because my fourth land is a Nykthos, a second Nykthos. I think what I do is just main phase the master and just attack for nine. Bounce a double strike guy. I mean, I could do that, but I think I like this better. Maybe th this is a lot riskier, right? I don't know. The problem with playing the bar, like the bar line, is like I just can't play my land for the turn. I guess what I could do is like tap Nykthos for mana, play second Nykthos, tap Island, bounce this main phase, and then hold up the other borrower. Maybe that was a good line. That might have been a better line. It's just super awkward that my fourth lane was Nykthos. Because I think if my fourth lane was Island, I would have just played land and passed. It would have just been so much better. We still might not die to this because we have a lot of toughness that we can throw in front of that thing. Yeah, the second Nykthos kind of fucked me up. It's going to be an interesting game. I don't think we're dead this turn. We have eight toughness that we can just free block with, so. Mm, 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 mm. Wouldn't trample or Pered. Let them do damage of the creature. No, it's a 2-1 blocking a 1-3. Okay. So they can escape the velocity. Mm. Might not be able to survive. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Do you want to get better? Obviously, we're dead if they have, God's willing, but... Nothing I can do about that. Well, I could have held the borrower, but it's like the second Nykthos. I, like, I, I really wanted to play the master that turn, so the second Nykthos just screwed me up so bad. Okay. So this is, what, 16? So this has me taking 10. Right? So these are all blocked. This is 16... Neither of these have first strike. 16 minus 6 is 10, right? All right, well, it's my only block that makes sense. If they have anything, I'm dead, but... Oh, damage has been assigned? Pause champ? Aw? Pause champ? There's no way we're going to win this game, right? <laughs> There's no shot. Well, we know they have nothing, because if they had anything, I would have died. Right? If they had a removal spell or a god's building, I would have been dead, so. Whew. Sheesh. Let's go. That was a sick game. That was a sick game. The sweats. The sweat is real. I don't really have any sideboard guards for this matchup, which is awkward because it's probably my worst matchup. I mean, I guess I could bring in Rift, but it's not that great. I think Gus kind of sucks. The cards that you're losing to way more often are like a giant... Um, What's that card called? The the white creature, the one with double strike. You're not losing to the red cards that often. So I don't like Gust as much. Um could like trim a defiler, trim a Chadwick, play two rift, call it a day. Let's do it. Hearse? Nah. Why would I want Hearse? Just for Arcanist? Arcanist is too slow most of the time. I think I'm okay with Arcanist. Hearse is just such a blank in most games. Like, if I draw Hearse and they don't draw Arcanist, it is so bad. Because then I'm like casting a card on turn two that doesn't it doesn't count towards devotion and just like doesn't it doesn't enable my game plan at all, right? The flashback spell. Well, the thing about that is if they just play the flashback spell and immediately flash it back, I don't have a window to uh, to curse them. Yeah, same with escape too. I don't have I don't ever have a window where I can get that. All right, we just need a Nykthos. We have Thoracle to find Nykthos. Sorry, I won't be able to sub this month. I'm saving up to buy the $1,000 proxy packs. I'll sub again next month. Hope you understand. I, I I understand, Mir. I completely understand. It is totally fine. If you would like to purchase the $1,000 premium packs, more power to you. That is that is your decision. That is a decision that you make, not me. You need the official, not official proxies, yeah. What's up, Daniel? You had a week without internet? Jeez.
I could block, but it's just like so obvious they have anything. And I, I think I'd rather keep the devotion in case I draw Nick those. Mm, all right, take two. Minus two Keck W. Pick up Giganta. What's the worst that could happen? They probably have learned their lesson, and they're probably going to cast the Reckless Rage now. Although, they need to have another thing to be able to have this not die to the Reckless Rage. Uh, I kind of just don't want to put any of these on top. Because I really think I need to find Nykthos. I could put Rift on top, but... I'll just draw Nykthos. It'll be fine. Sure won't. I don't think the one damage matters. I might double block this turn. I might consider double blocking. Upkeep Oracle. Well, I if I upkeep Oracle, I still can't nick those. So I'd rather just take a draw step, because then if I draw nick those, I can just play Master, right? Because I have four devotion. But if I upkeep the Oracle, I, I lose the ability to do that. Okay. A week without farming the channel points. <laughs> week without internet, man. I don't know if I could survive. Okay. I'll respond. Forgive, but never forget. All right, Nykthos acquired. A turn late, but I'll still take it. Question is, do I trade for the Swift Spear? Mm. I mean, if they attack, they probably have a Defiant Strike, right? Wow. That is really good for me. I'm just, I'm just not going to block. That is incredible for me. Holy shit. So good for me that they did that. Or they just don't have a thing. All right, your move. Ooh, am I supposed to main phase Master in case they have another Reckless Rage to kill the Oracle? Hmm. This is kind of tough. I think I am, right? Because they can't kill the Master. You don't think so? I mean, I guess, like, worst case, they just go to attacks and I just don't block. Well, no, because then I have to... Ca I'm going to have to cast the Master before blocks anyways, right? But what I'm saying is they're just going to go to attacks first, and I want to have tokens to be able to block. You know what I mean? I think I'm supposed to cast it now. I, th this th this looks kind of weird, but... Like, the thing is, if if they just go to attacks, like... I kind of still have to cast the Master, and then they can just respond with a Reckless Rage, right? Time to buy proxies for 1k. <laughs> I, again, I will not be purchasing that product. You're more than welcome to do so, if that is, if that, that is your choice. You can certainly do that. Uh, personally, I will not be purchasing it, but... If you want to do that, that's fine. I'm okay with it. No, it's Joel face. It's Joel face. Joel face. Might be dead. And I was going to be dead to this anyways, but... Rather have multiple revised duels. Did you know that for $1,000 you can purchase an entire Legacy Death and Taxes deck? You can purchase multiple Tier 1 Pioneer decks. There's a lot you can do for $1,000. And if you want to buy premium proxies, think that's fine. That's that's your decision. You can. As the modern green opponent, GG's cool deck. What's what what's your match against the other decks with this? Love love you, concept. Well, GG's buddy. Thanks again for the uh, thanks again for the kind words. Um, this is kind of like the first league I played with this deck, so I'm not really keen on the matchups quite yet, but. Basically, like against Modern Green, you mulligan to lane line. That that card is very important against them. Um, against Rakdos, yeah, you have like a decent decent amount of value against Rakdos. Like a, you have a lot of like defilers and stuff you can get there. So that matchup might be okay. I drew a bounce spell, which is fucking huge. So what if I just didn't attack this turn? I could send a couple tokens, maybe. And then, yeah, 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 because if I send a couple tokens, send like three tokens, I think. Leave back two in case they have Reckless Rage. Because if they block and try to kill another token, then I can just bounce this now. Which they obviously wouldn't do that, but... Don't see a reason to attack. I don't see a reason not to attack. Like, I still have two blockers back. Even if they have, like, double Reckless Rage. I'm still just gonna go, like, block here, bounce this. Well, the thing is, I really want to play the Master this turn. Like, I don't want to have to play the Borrower. I know I'm probably going to end up having to play the Borrower, but... Okay, well, easy block. Oh, nope, no, 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 no. There we go. Easy block. I guess they could have... Plus four, plus eight, Trample, and Protection. How much I can do about that? Oh, not that. This one... 
All right, we're dead. We are dead. Game three. I don't know. I, don't, I guess maybe I could have thrown like an extra couple of tokens in front of that, maybe. Is that what you're thinking? Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to like not attack with anything and just block that thing with like all five tokens. And then I don't think I'd die to trample. Interesting. I have a tough spot. <coughs> So it was 150 for the 30 secret layer card thing. No, a different thing we're talking about, JS. We're talking about the uh, 30th anniversary proxy promo packs. Mm -hmm. Alright, play first. Joking how dumb they are at a thousand, but they're not like they're all gonna be bought up and scalped and at least double that. Well, I mean, yeah, that's also the problem. But I mean they they obviously have no say with the secondary market, you know. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Well, I've had Leyline in every opening hand. This hand's cracked. This hand is insanity. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, sports cards are kind of out of control too. There's a lot. There's a lot of like promos and sports cards too. People, were, we were talking about that earlier. A lot of like random foils and shit. All right. Here's my Leyline. Best card in my deck. Not close. Your turn. <laughs> Tears of the people that bought into the reserve list. Guys, nothing's happening to the reserve list. Or is it? No, I don't I don't have sports cards. I never got into that kind of stuff. I do have like a fairly extensive magic collection, but I don't have sports cards. Monastery Swift Spear. Return. Yeah, everyone ban Accelerator Reserve List cards. <laughs> Get them while they're hot. Get him out of here. Another Monastery Swift Spear. I'm just going to take two. I'm taking two because I want to cast the Lore Master. And I can Trickster and Counterspell this turn. It's pretty good. Yeah, we can Trickster Counterspell this turn, and then next turn we can go Master. How many Black Lotuses do I have? None. Zero. I could master this turn, but I kind of want to get more out of the master. Maybe I don't need to. <laughs> Discovered you from your commentary energy, really top match work. Thank you. Yeah, I'm. 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 Uh, they're they're having me back for basically every energy event they do, and I'm super excited because I love doing commentary. Commentary is a lot of fun, even though I have to commentate modern. You know, that's less fun, but it's still fine. But yeah, it's a, it's an absolute blast. They said they're gonna send me some merch too, like the NRG jacket or whatever. Defiant Strike on Favored Hoplite. I think I'll let that resolve. I think that's fine. I could counter it, but... For the energy, do I research modern beforehand? Uh, the past couple of months, kind of, yeah. Okay, so... Do I Trickster here? It's really awkward that if I Trickster Float 2, then they just go to attacks. And then they can pay for my pay. They like I can't counterspell anymore. Tricky spot. The cool thing about playing Trickster is I might bait them into casting God's Willing, and then I can just counter it. I'm gonna play Trickster. I want them to cast God's Willing so bad here. Damn it. All right. Well, debated. That's fine. I'll just take four. Man, the Cooper Rush bandwagon. No, a little overhyped. Scam creativity or your rhinos for Dallas this weekend. Um, ¿Por qué no los dos? Scam creativity or yo rhinos, huh? I feel like I would probably... I mean, you know me. I would say play your rhinos, but... I think... I Honestly, I think the best deck in modern right now is probably creativity. But I just... I, I would prefer to play rhinos. <laughs> yeah, jam all three decks and play Battle of Wits. So I have what seven mana here, so I can go, I can go Oracle plus Master. Yeah, you may attack. All right, well let's do it. Let's play Oracle, and then with the Oracle trigger on the stack, I can play the Master to get the bonus off of both of them. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What card do I want to put on top of my library, huh? Uh, do I want any of them? I guess maybe the Harbinger? The Harbinger's probably fine, right? It's like interaction. I guess that's fine. I could also maybe keep a Counterspell. 
Uh, I'm actually not going to block with Master this turn, because I think... Eh, they don't usually play a second at Ganjo, but I should probably play around it, right? Like, it's kind of free to just do this. 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. I guess this isn't lethal. Can I maybe let one Swiss Spear through? Just to represent lethal, at least. They only have two cards. How likely am I dying to a Swiss Spear? I think this is fine. Play around the Tramps. Oh, shit. Mmm... Right, they can have plus two, plus their trample to two creatures. Hmm. I didn't think about that. Shit. Yeah, I did not think about that. So this is five, nine, seven. This is nine. Yeah, I should have played around that. That was my bad. I deserve to lose this game. Yeah, I could have just thrown like more stuff, maybe like throw an Oracle in front of something, maybe a Lore Master in front of something. Yeah, I could I could have played around that. This was just lazy. I mean, if they're tanking this long, maybe I'm not dead. They currently have nine damage coming through, right? Did I do the math right? Five, nine, minus two is seven. They have ten damage coming through. No, nine. Yeah, they have nine. So this is currently nine. Uh, so that's only ten damage. So... Oh, no, it's 12. <laughs> I go to one? Oh, my God, I go to one? That's so sick. Uh... <laughs> Let's go! So, which might not be a... That's probably not a great matchup for us. Mm. I mean, it is lands and spells. I guess I'll keep. It's no lane line, but... I think this hand is just fine. It has Claudio in his name. He probably plays Jank. Fair. Claudio Disciple. I played a Claudio deck in the first league. Yeah, this is this is the deck that's going to get Nykthos banned. Not Mono Green, the better Devotion deck. We did beat Mono Green in this league, so we are we are the strictly better Devotion deck. It's just how that works, you know? Have we won through Oracle? No. Oracle's just been mostly just like a card filtering card. Just like play it, look for a Nykthos or something. That's Most of the time, that's what it's been. But I haven't won a game with it yet, no. Mm -mm. Mm. This matchup is probably tough, especially without a Nykthos or a Leyline. Hmm. Shit. Well, we're probably dead. I can bounce it. It's not bad. Little Trickster into Harbinger action. Attack for two. I mean, if I find a Nykthos... We can maybe work. We can, we can maybe work with this. We find a Nykthos. so we can play Defiler. Although they could probably just kill the Defiler with the Devil. Hmm. I probably should bounce the Devil. Just try and tempo them out a little bit. Make them just recast it over and over again. Play Thassa's Oracle. Try to find Nykthos. Uh. Topping this counter spell is kind of awkward because they're just going to play the devil next turn. Yeah, I don't think I want any of those. I think it has to be Nick, though. Yeah, we're up on tempo, which is not bad, but they're hitting the land drops. Like, this would have been a lot better if they had missed a land drop or something, but we're not putting enough pressure on them to, like, take it, actually take advantage of the tempo. Top Harbinger, maybe. I, mean, I can also upkeep, I can upkeep tap the devil. Could, like, tap devil, attack for six, upkeep tap devil so it doesn't have abilities. Yeah, Oracle's got a big old but Pick those. Yeah. Alright, so let's go Trickster, tap the Devil. And then I'm going to upkeep, tap the Trickster again. Or tap the Devil. Maybe. Maybe we can do this. Maybe, just maybe. There is a chance. There is a chance. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So they can sack the Oni Cult Anvil, but they don't have another... I guess they could go sack Anvil, make a token, and then, like, sack the token to a Deadly Dispute, and then kind of just do stuff that way. This can sack itself, right? Yeah. <coughs> so, yeah, if they have Dispute... Okay, that's good. They don't have Dispute. Hold. Pause Champ. And now we might just have too much stuff in play, even if they get a good Devil turn, right? Depending on what they do this turn, of course, but... Okay. It's not great for me. Yeah, it's a good dispute. I'm kind of surprised they didn't, like, 
tap the anvil, sack itself, trigger, kill, t put, ping a token, and then dispute, sack the token to trigger, and then get a treasure. I'm kind of surprised they didn't do that in their upkeep. I saw the LCQ info in Atlanta. No, do you have a, do you have a link? Because I haven't seen it. Two, ga two Gadwick, four Defiler. Defiler kind of sort of replaced Gadwick. It does a, li a little bit different things, but... I just, I'm only playing with uh, I'm only playing with uh, two Gadwick Fortifier, Shrapnel Blast, my brother in Christ. All right, well, now we probably lose. Seems better since they have tokens to block with this way. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Yeah, if they wanted to like sack the Shrapnel Blast or something. At seven. I mean, I kind of just have to play Defiler and hope that they somehow don't have enough gas. I don't think this is going to work, but... From DreamHack Discord, one invite per LCQ. Makes sense. 32 people, $20 for Pioneer single elim, $40 for Brothers sealed single elim, two rounds in a top eight draft. I don't foresee a cap on the number of LCQ invites, but that might change. Cook in their particular kitchen. Okay. So they're just going to be like fill and fire? They're going to fire a lot of those if it's fill and fire. If they don't put a cap... They're going to fire a shit ton of those. And that's sick because I can basically just like play in, you know, if I like lose round one, I can just play in them all day, basically. <clears throat> Last chance qualifier for the uh, Atlanta. Because I'm going to be going to Atlanta, but I'm not qualified. I'm just going to be playing the uh, the Last chance qualifiers. Hmm. That's not good. That is not good. Have we seen enough, chat? I feel like we've probably seen enough. I also want to play in the PT. I wouldn't let the triggers resolve. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give them the satisfaction. Ah, you ain't even doing. I tap, I tap, I tap, I tap, I tap. All right, what are we? Oh, God. Mayhem Devil is such a pain in the ass. Like, I don't even think Curse is that good. It's only good against Cat. And even if they have Cat, I've talked, I've said this a million times before, if they have an extra food in play, they can easily play around Hearse by just, like, activating in response to your Hearse. So it's not even that good. Uh, Gust is good against exactly Devil, which I might just have to put into my deck. Borrower's kind of terrible. You can cut Borrower. Gust is kind of the same thing, but them it's skipping their draw step is better than just bouncing it to their hand. Card's also terrible against uh, Witch's Oven. I might cut a Defiler and play Fort Gust. I just, I have to have, like, max answers to, to Met Devil. I could bring in Cyclonic Rift, I guess, but I feel like I'm never keeping enough stuff in play for Cyclonic Rift to be good. Okay, this hand's good. I'm gonna keep this. I can work with this hand. This hand plays. Well, it has the best card in our deck in our hand, so. Yeah. Two drop. There we go. That's what we're talking about, Chad. This hand is nutso. Tap out for some idiotic two drop. I'm not blocking. I'm just taking one damage. I'm taking. No blocks. Mm -mm. Play around like claim plus sack. They're not going to shrapnel blast my fastest oracle, right? There's no way. They could have fatal push, but. Sure. Please don't have fatal push. Okay. Uh, do I want any of these cards? I don't think I want a second Nykthos, right? Maybe a glass pool mimic, copy master. Yeah, because like if uh, the only awkward part is if they have fatal push. I think it's good. It's good upside to keep the mimic though. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the mimic. It is very very high upside. And I am just going to I guess attack for one. It's probably fine. <clears throat> so next turn potentially I'll have five mana with the nick though, so I can go gust plus mimic. There's a chance if they play Mayhem Devil, I might just gust it this turn. We'll see. I'm mad my mother in law's 65 birthdays in Atlanta. I was planning on going. That's a, that's a feels bad, man. All right, what is the worst case scenario if I let this resolve? Fatal push, right? Which, it doesn't matter if I let this resolve or not. They can fatal push my master regardless. I think what I'm supposed to do is let this resolve. End of turn, master. Pray that they don't have fatal push. Untap, gust the devil. Play second. Play class pull mimic, and the game's probably over. I'm gonna let this resolve. It's it's very very risky to do this, but I think I'm kind of screwed either way if they have fatal push. Come on, no fatal push, please. No fatal push. No fatal push. No fatal push. 
Don't have it. 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 Let's go. Okay. So surely if I gust this, they'll respond when and use this if they have the fatal push, right? Yeah, there's no way they have fatal push. Alright, well, uh, Zach. Your turn. What's up? See the 5-0 model blue self-mill? I did see that deck. I don't know if I like it that much. I feel like that deck's not that great. All right. Well, I won because they didn't draw Fatal Push. I would have lost that game if they did. But yeah, I don't. I, I feel. I just don't know what to think about that deck. I have no idea what it like. I have no idea if it's good. I played against it the other day, and they just like sat there spinning their wheels the entire game, which like that's kind of what the deck is designed to do. Just feels like it doesn't. I don't know. I, I'm just. I don't know. I feel like it's missing something. Hmm. I think I just kind of have to mulligan to Leyline in this matchup. This is one of those matchups where we're not trying to play a, a value attrition based game because their deck is so much better suited at doing that. And like, if I don't have like the Leyline and I'm playing on my terms, I think it's just, I don't know. I, I have to mulligan to Leyline, I think, basically. Back the Chadwick, I think. All right. So it's not bad if you find Nykthos. Yeah, I have to play on their terms. Or I have to play on, on their turn on my terms. I'm not winning the game, but just, like, playing, you know, one spell a turn and doing that kind of stuff. This is how I'm winning. I looked at the deck tonight and fought three question marks. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay. Ooh, they don't have another land. Hit Loremaster first, draw extra cards. Come on, Nykthos. Come on, Nykthos, 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 Nykthos. Nykthos! Shit. Alright, attack for two. And if they go to activate Priest, I can just play the Oracle in response. So that's not bad. If they miss a land drop, they might just use the War Master. Depends. Just because they like really need to hit a land drop this turn. They can't miss again. Alright, they didn't use the Fang, which means they probably drew a land. Dude, late Ley Leyline into Lore Master. This is such a sick combo. It's so good. Mm. Okay, that's fine. Annoying, but kind of expected. Mm -mm -mm. I'll just take two. I'm not gonna not gonna block. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, master is nice. We can Thorkel to try and find master, because I'll, I'll keep a master at this point for sure. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No blocks. Lead with your eyes and you give it away. It's the sack to oven. Yep. I guess they can sack the food to make another token with anvil, but they can't activate this. So that's fine. Lore Master has slept on. Yeah, that card's been pretty good for me. When I've had, like, when I've had this start, turn zero Leyline, turn four, or turn zero Leyline, turn two Lore Master, every time I've had that, it's been very, very good. Uh, I don't want any of these. Do I upkeep the Thorkel? I don't think so. I think I'd try to high roll a Master. Because if I upkeep Thorkel, I can't really do anything with the rest of my mana anyways. So I might as well just try and high roll a Master. Okay, not a Master, but not bad. Can hard cast that next turn. Yeah, two mana, one sided Howling Mine. And a lot of people just can't afford to, like, draw cards, especially that early in the game. You know, it does get, like, it does get, uh, there is, like, some, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? There is downside to it. Like, they're eventually going to be able to start paying for it. Uh, I guess I should respond in Thorkel. Because if I play the Thorkel, they're going to use the Priest. No Masters still, huh? Uh, I don't think I want any of these cards. Mm, nope. No Nykthos either. Although, even if I saw a Nykthos, I probably wouldn't keep a Nykthos at this point. I just need to find Master. Master! 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 Not a Master. Feels bad, man. I feel like we're not winning this game. How's the Model Blue Devotion been? It's been decent. We're 3-0 with it. We're losing. This matchup seems pretty rough for us, though. No devils yet. They'll they'll have one. I also think I'm dead. I think I have to take off Wednesday because I'm gonna I'm probably gonna fly out Wednesday then. 
Oh, right. Top eight is Sunday. So they do day one Friday, day two Saturday, top eight Sunday. I gotcha. Okay, this hand does not have Leyline, but it does have two drop Nick, though. So I think this hand's fine. I think I'm okay with it. Well, immediately queue into blue, I control, huh? One matchup where I need Leyline. Well, one of the matchups where I need Leyline, but foretold. Hmm, we could save ourselves the time and just concede the match. Obviously, if I conceded the match, I would cancel the prediction, but... <laughs> I'm kind of into it, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, man. I just, I really, really despise playing against Control. It's so boring. It's like the most boring thing in the entire world. That's why I want to scoop, obviously, but... Yeah, just just watering it for me. We can get some tilt equity by conceding. Yeah, true. I don't know, man. I just have no interest in playing its control. It's just like so boring. It's also not great content, you know. These games are not interesting at all. I'm just gonna sit here casting my spells until they counter them all, and then I'm gonna scoop. All right, Tech, you're wandering it, Bert. Opponent, I ain't got time for this. Opponent, please. Let's go here. Pick up the pace. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. You're not making me want to stay here. All right, their thing died. Uh, go. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes, that's that is exactly what I'm saying, Gary and Lich. Want me to concede by slow play? They might get me. Not sure if they're doing LCQs on Thursday or not, based on what is on the DreamHack site. Last chance qualifiers for the RC Saturday. Sunday, we're just day two. Okay, okay, okay. So probably yeah, they're probably only gonna have qualifiers on Thursday. And then they'll probably do you know, day one Friday, day two Saturday, top eight Sunday. Because they obviously wouldn't have, you know, they wouldn't put qualifiers on, like, Wednesday or something. They wouldn't have qualifiers, like, Wednesday, Thursday, you know. So they'll probably only have them on Thursday. Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'll at least go to the sideboard where I have some real cards. This words last forever on your skin. Because I have these. This card's good against them. My home is in your heart. Mm, Mimic seems kind of mid. Probably cut the Harbinger of the Tides. At least Trickster can still play Flash. Let's go with that. I think Gadwick is bad. I feel like it's... I don't know. Maybe I can cut, like, a Gadwick for a Mimic. I guess it's kind of hard to resolve. <clears throat> is her a server consideration because it gets big or am I bad at sideboarding? No, I mean, hers is interesting because it doesn't die to Supreme Verdict, but the problem is they just kill your other creatures. Like, you're you're really not going to be in a spot, and it's also not that great against Wandering Emperor, too. So, it's just kind of awkward. Yeah, we can also have Counterspell back up. We do have a lot more Counterspells now. Yeah, March gets it, too, which they have four of them in their deck, so. Uh, this hand probably fucks if I draw a land. I'm on the play, though. I mean, I, I want to keep that hand badly, but I don't think I should. Yeah, I guess. Put back Master of Waves, I think. Control players are something else, huh? I almost I almost wanted to keep the first hand. If I draw a land, I probably win. I do need a third land, so I guess I'll top that. Since we are so docked in this matchup, I was down for draw land or concede. Probably, yeah. Maybe that was maybe that was more reasonable. I counter your spell. I don't know, Chad. I got. I, got, I don't have much. March of otherworldly light pitching Dovin's veto. Interesting. Proceed. Shocked they didn't censor it? Yeah, I know, right? I might have just scooped if they played censor. <laughs> I probably would have scooped if they played censor. 
Wish I had more pressure in play. I would feel way better about this game if I had a fucking brazen borrower. I just wanna I just wanna counter this to tempo them. I don't even know if that's right, but Guys message earlier was saying LCQ is on Friday and main event on Saturday. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Four toll card. Resident Sleeper. You know what? I, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm just going to cast a Filer, and if they counter it, and probably, I'm probably just going to scoop. <laughs> Although, eh, they did just foretell a card. I don't know. It's like, I just can't win this game. This game was over when they queued into me. <laughs> Wish the father was uncounterable. I wish it also said when it enters the battlefield, you win the game. <laughs> nice field of rune, idiot. Sup. Sup! Yeah, field of rune me, do it. You you won't. You won't. Control is always so boring. I know, it's it's horrible. It's also just like not interesting or fun to watch at all. <laughs> this is so boring. Is anybody having a good time? Except for the people that like really enjoy watching me lose. <laughs> I don't care. Just counter it. <laughs> I don't care. Are oh, you gonna verdict me? Awesome. Sick. Verdict me, and I am out of here. Three, two, one. Kek by. For content reasons, probably better to skip this matchup. That's what I'm saying. Like, the thing about, like, people always talk about on my YouTube channel, they always, like, hate when I concede early. But, like, would you rather concede early or sit here for 10 minutes and watch me just get demoralized by blue-white control? Like, eh, what are we, like, what are we doing here? You know? Well, I can't beat that either. Something good off this draw. That is not good. Yeah, all right, I'm done. I'm out. You win. Nice deck opponent. All right, well, we 3 2 Uh, We lost to a blue-white control, which is unwinnable, and then Rakdos Sacrifice, which I, we did beat Rakdos Sacrifice one of the games, and I think if we maybe had a better plan against Mayhem Devil, it may have been maybe a little bit better. So I don't know though. If you're watching this on YouTube, let me know what you thought about the deck in the comment section below.